Okay, Colin, I would just continue to encourage you to work on getting that weight off your back leg as you are taking your stride. You can see that you have a lot of reaching action with your front foot. So even if we watch our back knee, I know that you have pants on, but if you watch your back knee, it's the slightest turn back. See that? And even watch your foot down here. You can just see how that weight is a little bit on that back leg. Ideally, what we would want to see is rather than reaching with our front foot, boom, this is taking our foot forward. You can see how the weight stays back and now watch your front foot. See how it goes a little bit backwards as we're getting into the ground? Keep going forward and get into the ground. Again, watching here, watching here. See, it just turns back just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. And you get that reaching action, right? Just watch it compared to the major league samples of how their back leg moves. And you can see how you get stuck just reaching with your front foot. And now I'm coming back as I'm getting into the ground. And it just makes a little bit of an inefficient hip turn. Gives us a little bit around. We can see how our hands, watch your hands relative to the background, how they get going down before they get going forward. And I think we could get a little bit more of an efficient motion with our hands by getting a more efficient hip turn. And we get a more efficient hip turn by boom, boom, get all of this going forward instead of staying, see that how it just stays back there. And then we have to reach and our foot comes down backwards a little bit.